should we do today? What, what should we do? do? What should we do today? We can never just, there's never enough to do. It's, it's if struggle. only we just had one of the biggest deliveries ever from one of the coolest American custom guitar makers biggest known to coolest. mankind. If only. What is that? Can you say biggest and coolest? Gentlemen, this yes. is Anderton's TV. Yes. Uh, God, welcome to uh, today's episode of uh, more guitars that uh, you need to buy, right? Um, more cool guitars. But before we get into this, please like and subscribe this channel. It means a lot to Peter and I. Yes, please. Um, and not just, you know, you don't just get the uh, love and gratitude of Pete and I. You might win a Clon Centaur. Uh, yes, a anyway, well. right, we've a said that a million one. times. Yeah. So, uh, last year, 2021, we um, met a lovely chap called Kevin yeah. uh, from California, who um, California. had uh, a, a business making custom-made guitars in America called Iconic Guitars. Um, to be totally honest with you, we'd kind of stumbled across his Instagram page and he had a real knack of posting really, really beautiful looking pictures of guitars. And uh, as we're all, you know, that sort of vein, Ooh, guitar loving, yeah, shiny. absolutely. Oh, it's shiny. shiny. Uh, we got shiny. in contact, we ordered some guitars and we sampled the delights and the, 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 the spec that we particularly liked uh, was this sort of vintage modern thing he did, which is a sort of a, I guess, a old school looking concept, but with new school features. Uh, and anyway, so just, here we are. what are we, August 2022, we've just had our first sort of main delivery of just all this kind of vintage modern spec, yeah. S types and, and T types. Oh, um, oh. So, let me tell you a little bit tell about, us. you know, tell this us. is this is something uh, modern, something new, something borrowed, something blue. I, I don't even know what the thing is, but we've got two piece older bodies. We have got oh. uh, 5A. I, I was going to say, I know what triple A and quadruple is. What what can, when you get into five? Cinquenty? What? Quintuple. Quintuple. Wow. That's anyway, what you really the, drink. The, the, you really the, need the, 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 the fifth <laughs> grade of, of flame maple on the neck. So we'll finish with this it? beautiful sort of, you know, gun oil, gun stock oil. Oh. Choice of um, 
maple or rosewood fretboards. Yeah. Uh, a compound radius neck, yeah. ten, 10 down the bottom end going to 14 at the top end. Yeah. Um, they wind their own pickups. So we've gone with an HSS set on the S types and a um, traditional set on the T types. Got yeah. the easy access truss rod adjustment. We've got Goto hardware, including what I really, really like are the staggered vintage tuners here. So oh, they are no staggered. need for a string tree because obviously the top ease tuner is um, lower down than the, the bottom ease one. Uh, coil tappy tap tap. Coil tappy tap tap. Uh, <laughs> No plate on the back because that's what John Mayer does, and so obviously it's better. Um, <laughs> recessed uh, heel joint, yeah. very much like I guess what Fender are doing on the Ultra. Um, wowzers, Muck Wowzers, beautiful hard case, which I'll show you in a bit. Yeah. Um, your and choice of, again, you can go from you. relatively traditional, well, you can go from completely traditional finishes in the, in the sort of the sunburst, or yeah. this is a, this is listed as surf green, and I kind of think it's maybe more sonic blue, but it's it's one of the two. It's sonic blue or surf green. So you can go traditional. I thought they were saying, oh my God. You can go um, completely, you know, brand new vibe. You can go some slightly more out there colors, and let's be honest with you, who wouldn't? I don't think we've gone crazy out there, no. I think, but we've sort of gone, this is you know, Fender during their sort of sparkle era. And, and it has some amazing sparkles in there, some purple, some pink, yeah. some gold, some bronze. You've got the choice of some lacquer checking if you want yeah, it. Yeah, lacquer checking here. Um, we haven't done any actual sort of damage or wear on these guitars, so they're all really up to you. They're nitro finish. Uh, both neck and body guitars. Yeah. So Although they will sat in on the on the neck. They potentially can check, you know, even if, if they oh, are not. Absolutely. They, they, should, they, be... they almost certainly will start to, yeah. to check, especially if, you know, if we carry on having these crazy summers like we're having and then it goes cold in the winter. But that's just what happens Look when you get a nitro two. finished guitar. Look at these two. The pink one looks fantastic on camera. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we've got several of these in the store and I'm guessing what you will have seen during the jam or various points during this video will be some sweeps of some other colors. Uh, and hopefully they'll be super popular and this batch will be gone soon and there'll be more to look at. But uh. Uh, check the links below because we're always photographing all of the lovely guitars that turn up. So, what do you want to do some tones for well, us just, first, Mr. Pete? I thought Pete? to start with, you could do that one. I think you, you I need think to you, do... I mean, I'm, I'm loving it, do... but I kind of feel like you should do all of them. Really? It's like... Well, I feel like you, you know, you think this, an HSS is your kind of thing. So that's why I felt like you should kind of do it. But this I can do it, it This like. absolutely is. You know, that is yours. If I was going to have, not if, because I, I want one, right? But a contemporary, <laughs> yes. a contemporary S-type for me yeah. is about, from a distance, the you're going, distance. oh, that just looks like a classic instrument. And then, but when you get a little closer and you're maybe, you know, the, the player, you're going, oh yeah, the compound radius fretboard. So I haven't gone, we haven't gone too skinny on the neck. It's just like a nice feeling C-shape on the back of the neck. Yeah. The staggered tuners are just genius because, yeah. you know, you don't have the, the, the string pull or anything like that of, of the tree, so hopefully your tuning's a little bit better. Trump. That was very Trump, that. Genius. Um, Nobody more again, genius Again, Rosewood board, just n normal frets, whatever normal is. Yeah. Um, a nice balanced set. I mean, again, it's not a, they wind their own pickups, but again, we, we were talking about, I don't like it when something feels, you know, you don't want the humbucker too hot relative to the, the single coils or anything like that. Just a nice balanced set. We decided not to do anything kind of crazy with the wiring, just straightforward coil taps, kind yep. of all you want. I did actually, in fairness, the first time I did this in the jam, I wasn't expecting to play. So I was sort of still mid tuning up and I hadn't even realized I, I had the I had the coil tap on and the tone wound down and that wasn't intentional. So it sounded great though. Uh, yeah, the second time round it was a bit more how I would have wanted it. The trem system, I love this, right? So it's a go-to trem system, but it's the one where to get the kind of the real snug feel of the arm, it's got the sort of nylon washer in here, but then to get the tightness of it, you've got the thread actually in the Ooh. tremolo arm. So not on the outside, Ooh. in it. So you still screw it in like a Keep regular trem, but when it gets snug, it's like mm, in a bug super in a rug. snug. It's like in a glove snug. Um, well, like, sure. Anyway. That's what I like about it. I mean, in fairness, I've not actually played the tellies much. Sorry, the T-Styles. The T-Styles. Oh, careful now, careful now. Handbrake. Yeah, because it is. Um, but as you can see, well, this is 
one thing that definitely sets this apart from a normal tea style is, other than the absolutely magnificent gold sparkle here, is of course the reverse headstock, right? Right. See? Right. I'm just going to look up the telly. Uh, it's a tamarack. Tamu. Tamarack. I'm, tamarack. I'm going to look up the tamarack. Uh, tamarack spec. Okay, so Solana is the um, yep. is this shape, yep. and uh, he's right. Tamarack is. Yeah. Um, is you know, like shape. like a Volkswagen. Uh, all their names like are wind. detective in the Channel Islands. I know that was Bergerac. Bergerac. So, yeah. But um, all, all Volkswagen's cars are named after winds. So the Passat oh, really? wind, uh, the Golf wind. Yeah. So there you go. So maybe that's what they've gone for here. I don't know. I thought Kevin was rhyming a BMW, but I'm not sure no, what's going on there No, it's basically everything that I told you about this applies to that, yeah. other than, of course, you've got um, different pickups and a different bridge. Yeah. But it's a very traditional style bridge, yeah, I big I love, brass saddles. I love the way that the, the bridge on here has got a full, so the, the top bar here of the, of the bridge, saddle or whatever the bridge is, all the way through, but here you're going to like the frets, right, there, like. right? You're going to like the frets, right? Because they are nickel, Jez car nickel, medium jumbo. It's like, yeah. Thank you. That's Pete's spec. I'm going to dial it down a little bit on volume. It's so slidey and it's easy. Really it's really nice. It's it's like, I think these Jess car frets has got this kind of, it's a blended material, nickel and something, so they feel a little bit more slippy slidey than a normal nickel fret would do. So they're slightly more feeling like the, um, like a, a stainless steel. <laughs> There's nothing to say, sounds great, feels great. And it's got that kind of S-type tone to it. Which I really like. I mean, I wanted, nice. I, I've been searching for a brand for a while to try and do this with, because I kind of feel Fender do the old school strats really well. Yeah. When you go into custom shop, they really just focus on those kind of reissue style oldie woldy guitars. Yeah. Uh, and although we've done, again, we, we've done like a contemporary custom shop version of an Ultra, but I think you just have to accept with Fender, you do pay a little bit of a premium for it. So the model that we've got from Fender that I guess is the closest thing to hear from the custom awesome. shop is awesome. another thousand pounds and it doesn't have the flamey neck and, and you know, so you sort of I get that. There'll still be people that want that. And, and of yeah, course, the, you, you know, the, there's a lot to be said for having the right name on the headstock. But if I looked at other brands, you know, Tom Anderson makes beautiful guitars, but yeah. he just makes so few. It wasn't the right time for Andertons. And then the Sur thing, again, yeah. nice guitars, but again, I don't know if it was necessarily the right time for Andertons uh, or, or them, to be fair. Yeah, yeah. A... And, but so I was kind of looking and Iconic ticked all those boxes. And then mm. they've got like the double tick in the boxes because they're relatively new as a brand. You're actually not paying a crazy premium on these guitars. I, I, these are two nine nine nine. Yeah, they? So don't, that don't you think that's not, actually I not think that's, bad? I mean, I think it's not bad at all. Because you you haven't if, you haven't paid two nine 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 to go in at the entry level, which is what you do no, 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 with a lot of those brands that I've. Specs. Yeah, this is like it doesn't. It's get all handmade. Any, it doesn't get any better than this. There it, there is nowhere to go to like have more. No, and the flaming maple necks and the sparkly finishes and the nitro lacquer and the handbound pickups and the, all the goblins yeah. inside it and, you know, the, the, it's just, you know, it's but absolutely... Jump, jump on their Instagram feed because you're going to see some yeah. crazy stunning guitars. And it's small time, right? You know, it's like, I think there's less than half a dozen people are iconic. So yeah. it's not... You know, again, it's not like a production line of no, I love of, it. Uh, Brilliant. Guitars. And they've got a new model as well now. The uh, I can't remember what it's called now, but it's like this kind of big 
offset kind of the, thing. Oh, yes. Um, yeah, well, we called? had some of those before. No, 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 this is a brand new oh, one. Oh, okay. Yeah, we'll put a picture of it so, now. But so, I can't remember what it is, but... I mean, I'm not saying that we won't ever do other iconic models. I think just this particular delivery was very much, we'd sort of, yeah. we sort of honed in last year on the, oh yeah, that vintage modern spec yeah, yeah. thing is that that's, that's what we want. Anyway, let's hear um, some gain yes, here, man. Please. So uh, just a bit of Dane, because the Dane likes a T style uh, guitar. <laughs> <laughs> Again, it? it's it's. I like that. Look at that. Nick. I think a lot of this is, you know, this isn't trying to, this isn't trying to necessarily sound like, you know, it's not uh, something weird and new. I just I just felt it was, you know, if you want all of the the, the flame maple neck and all that kind of little bit of extra blingy sort of stuff, I just felt it was cool. Right? Yeah, I love that. Look at this. That, that color is special, right? That is super cool. Um, Let me just get. I tell you the one I liked as well, and maybe again you'll have seen this on on. Um, I thought the black with the fleck sparkling. Oh it great. yeah, the there's yellow a one. one. There's, a, oh. there's a Ferrari yellow one in there as well, which uh, sort of made me uh, sort of twitch a bit in places. You know what I mean? I love. <laughs> do you know what I like as well? If you look on the ones that they've put the lacquer checking in, yeah, they've um, used the sort of the slightly aged nickel uh, humbucker yes, colour. Yes, they have. And then yeah. if you want the one where it's with no lacquer checking, they've gone full chrome. And again, I just it's just an interesting match. But yeah. maybe you've got a particular colour combination that is your favourite. We can we can special order you that. Absolutely. Full bridge. Split the bridge. It's been a long day, Man, but it's but lovely. That, that back humbucker sings, right? Yeah, that is that's really good. It's got a very uh, path kind of uh, vintage. <laughs>
we put that yeah. Tom Cruise filter on Pete's face for that? Uh, <laughs> Again, yeah. again, 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 uh, again. Well, there you are. Look, um, can you hold that a second while yeah, I yeah. show people yeah. the case? And I don't know if there's any case candy. Let's have a little look. These so, are wonderful um, guitars, man. That, that's a good price, man. So you got, yeah, pretty standard I mean, this is handsome, uh, this is wooden case, money, isn't it? This is yeah. Do you know what? I, it's funny money. that, isn't it? It's like, oh, that's pretty, isn't it? A little uh, certificate holder here. Oh. Uh, inside, you get your iconic certificate of authenticity. What's in Signed the, by uh, Kevin Proctor, who's the guy who started yeah. it all. What's the... Let's have a little look. What's in that uh, case? Nothing. A little uh, a duster, so you can keep it nice and clean. And some plectrums. And, and uh, specs. Specs. And your little, again, unfortunately, a picture of me again. Uh, <laughs> telling <laughs> me, you me, that, me, that me, our me. QC people have checked it out and that it's all okay. Yeah. Um, you get the seal of your face approval. Yeah, the Hanson thing, I, I mean, interesting you We completely different that. guitars. Totally different, but again, it's about going. If you want, uh, in our again, it's only our opinion, and I'm sure you know there's other brands that yeah, will help here. They like belly you, buttons. You know, if you want to go and buy a Fender Custom Shop reissue of a 60 Strat or 50 Strat or a Tele or whatever like that, beautiful guitars, nothing wrong with that. But again, Absolutely. pays you money to get the name, the right name at the top. You know, some would argue maybe you get that back when you sell it second hand. I, I understand all that, but you do. It's kind of four thousand quid, don't you? Maybe an upwards for a nice Fender. Four and a half, yeah. Uh, Hanson will make you a guitar that we would probably argue is um, built just as well. And there's one or two things about it that are kind of a little bit different. And but anyway, and for about a thousand pound less, yeah, yeah. Less, and, yeah, less, and kind of yeah. like I guess to a certain extent, maybe you could say the same about you know iconic. And I, I just kind of yeah. feel it's like some of these better known um, brands, you know, that they are. They're not one guy, you know, making guitars nope. anymore. You know, they're, they're serious operations. Whereas yeah. I kind of feel like this is, these nice brands and Hanson and stuff, it's about a little family of, yeah. you know. And they're nice guys, Carlos man. Carlos Lopez, you know, this is really, good example Exactly, they nice people. It's important to be nice, yeah? How about this, can we just do the, can we just do the... Uh... Can you do this? I think it's a little bit too modern. Maybe. I, I, it's just I maybe think the, if, you, if you flip it over, the reason it sounds so authentic is entirely because it's, they it's just... It's because they have that. The, uh, there's yeah, no, there's I know. no back plate. I mean, that is just... Uh, anyway. Well, there you are. So that, Wonderful ladies and gents, guitars, man. Uh, is a little run through of wow. the latest delivery from been Iconic. Looking, they're taking um, in this as well. Yeah, they came and taking in this. So, um, yeah, please, um, again, if you've got any questions about these, you can contact the Guitar Gallery. The guys will do video calls, or whatever. Go. Or, you know, or just take the day off and drive down to Guildford and check them out. You can do that now. You can do that. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Do yeah. What, take a day off? You can't do that. No, uh, no, right. What's a day off? Uh, onwards and upwards. We'll see you in another video soon. Thanks for watching. Au revoir. I need to learn another goodbye in another yeah, language. Just... Thank you for watching Undertones TV.